Well, our research has been addressed initially to the problem of climate sensitivity. That is, how much will climate change in response to a forcing, you know, a change, for example, of the atmospheric composition. We need to understand, is it going to be a small change, which is smaller than the natural variability of climate, or is it going to be large and have a big impact on people and nature? And what we found is that the climate is quite sensitive. Climate on Earth has changed a lot from the ice ages to the interglacial periods, and that was in response to a very small forcing, slight changes of the Earth's orbit. But now people are changing, are providing an even bigger forcing by burning fossil fuels and putting carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And that's going to cause very large climate changes. It takes time for the climate system to respond because the ocean has tremendous inertia. But those changes have already started and there's more already in the pipeline. Yeah, well, in uh, an article in Science in 1981, we said that by the 21st century, we would see the opening of the fabled Northwest Passage. And in fact, that has occurred early in the 21st century. And uh, this will have big impacts um, if, if this warming continues, because Greenland is beginning to lose mass. It's uh, spreading fresh water out onto the North Atlantic Ocean. And that's already beginning to slow down this uh, Atlantic overturning ocean circulation. And that's important because that circulation normally brings warm ocean water to the North Atlantic and that keeps Europe relatively warm for its high latitude. Um, there's a very good chance if we continue to increase the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere, that we will shut down that circulation completely. That would have dramatic effects, not only on the weather in places like Europe, but also on, on global climate. I, the two, the, in the Paris Climate Agreement, um, to try to keep global warming less than two degrees Celsius relative to pre-industrial conditions, that is not a safe target, in my opinion. In fact, it's a prescription for disaster. The last time the planet was one degree Celsius warmer was in the Eemian period, the prior interglacial period about 120,000 years ago. And sea level was six to nine meters higher then. If we let that happen again, that means we lose all coastal cities. More than half of the large cities in the world are on coastlines. So we can't let that happen. Now we can't say how long it will take before that will happen, but all the evidence is that the changes on Greenland and on Antarctica are beginning to happen faster and faster. <laughs>